Love and light, my lovelies. Love and light. Thank you so much for taking that time to join me on True Pillow Academy. This topic I'm going to talk about today in today's video, pivoting your business dream. You know, we're living in interesting times, my lovelies, in 2023. And I don't know about you, my lovelies, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, if you're working online and offline, you know, since 2020, a lot has changed in the world that we live in. You know, they call it the new normal. And I have noticed, as a lot of us, as business owners and entrepreneurs, are getting to that place where we feel that we need to pivot our business. Maybe you've been in business for five years, three years, two years, or one year. Whatever it is, 2020 and during COVID has changed a lot of our businesses, has changed a lot of our business ideas, has changed our practices, has changed how we do things, has changed our clients, has changed even our location. A lot of us have working from home. A lot of us have had to move building. So the lot has been turned upside down during the climate changes and the crisis that we've seen. A lot of us are realizing that through the crisis and the things that we've seen, a lot has changed in the business practices that we have done. And so you might be in that place like I was, um, thinking about maybe pivoting your business and trying to think if it's the right time or the right space of time for you to transit or close your business or just continue to go and keep building your business. I'm going to be real with you, my lovelies. A lot of us have suffered some financial difficulties during COVID and some of us might not want to face the truth of the reality. You know, it's our babies. It's something that we've worked for. I know for me, I worked with Rachel Academy for 18 years and it was a hard thing for me to decide that it was time for me to close up shop. And I found it very emotional and I found it very th difficult to do. So it took me uh, two years to make that decision to close Rachel Academy, to close my website, to close the business and take a two year sabbatical, take a two year break to kind of rethink what I want to do with my life, what I want to do as a business. If I wanted to even go back into business or if I wanted to pivot into something different. And so those two years for me was a great time for me to stop and just refresh and just take a bird's eye view over my life and over my business. Because as entrepreneurs, we are the engine. We are the one thing that makes our business run. And for most of us, we don't take that time out to have self-care, to kind of revisit and look at what we are doing and see if it's something that is really what we want to do. I know for me, after COVID, it gave me that needed push to revisit and relook at my business strategy, to look at my business plan, to look at my business idea. And then I realized that it was time because I'd done it for 18 years. It was time for me to make a pivot and to make a change. So this video is for you. If you have been thinking about maybe it's time for you to close down shop for a period of time, close down shop for permanent, or maybe you're thinking about pivoting your business into a something new. Maybe you have a new idea. Again, because of COVID, a lot of things have changed. You know, um, how we do business has changed. The world we live in has changed. I know where I live here in the UK, a lot of shops have been closing down. A lot of great businesses, well-known businesses are closing down because a lot of people are lost it, losing money. We've seen banks closing down. So it's difficult climate for business owners and entrepreneurs. So how can we pivot in the right way for us to enable us to keep our brand going if it's something that you want to do then this is a video for you do share this video if you know anyone out there that is also going through the same situation and i think it's important for us to have these conversations because we all put our best foot forward and it's nothing wrong with that and we should do as professionals but we also need to be honest so we can help other people who are in a similar situation with us because we're all struggling financially and and even if you're not struggling financially it doesn't mean that you are not sure what to do because there's lots of uncertainty in the world that we're living today in politics in climate change in everything and so there's a lot of bombarding information that we're getting through news newspapers media you know um, social media and it kind of helps us to make that decision on what is the right time to move and pivot 
for our business and our brand. So I want to talk about that for you because, again, I was doing Rachel Academy for 18 years. I had successful branding and marketing and social media business. I was helping clients um, start businesses and it was going very, very well. And I decided in 2019 that I wanted to do something different because I've been doing it for a long time. And it was interesting that when COVID came in 2020, I thought it was the right time for me. It was that needed push that I needed to get started and rethink and just look at my life <laughs> and really just really go deep inside to find out what I was doing and why I was doing it. I won't say it was an easy process to do it was a very difficult process but it was a much needed and much beneficial process i would say that i have done even though i took the two years out it was very hard i was thinking what my clients you know i did have a newsletter that i used to send to clients every um, quarterly so i did let my clients know my customers know that i was closing rachel academy and i was going to decide to either sell it or close it and whatever so i did give them some information i let them know my journey i let them know the story and i think for anyone thinking about pivoting their business their brand or closing shop that you should let your clients learn especially as loyal clients who've been with you for a very long time they supported you through your ups and downs i know my clients and my customers did i want to thank you so much for going through with me on that journey of 18 years. Some of you have been with me from the beginning when I started Rachel Academy, when I was so nervous to come and do social media, when I was so nervous to come and do my first video. You know, everyone that comes into contact with me now with the new um, Rachel see that um, I'm a very confident person. But that wasn't my journey when I started. I was very shy, very not confident to do the videos and do even stand in front of the camera or sit in front of the camera and do a video. So it was a process. It was a journey. I wasn't confident with my image, with how I looked and how I spoke, how I moved my hands, all those kind of things that we all naturally go through as humans on this third dimension. We all struggle with certain things. And it's been an interesting process to have an out of body experience and look at myself from a second person and see how far I have come in the journey. Sometimes we need to pat ourselves at the back and thank ourselves and you know appreciate ourselves for what we have done and the things that we have overcome because sometimes we don't have those people to do it we don't have a cheerleaders around us to celebrate us so, so sometimes we have to celebrate ourselves especially if you are at that stage of thinking of pivoting your business you need to celebrate yourself don't beat yourself up you are not the first person to go on this journey of changing something or pivoting something or moving something around or closing um shop you know being honest is something that can sell us free you know businesses that say like three to five percent of businesses are successful so if you pass the year mark or the second year mark you have achieved a huge amount of success that you allowed your business to go on for two years and you didn't quit so don't see it as the end of the road if you are at that stage of closing down your business or pivoting your brand is not the end of the road there's so much opportunities so much things ahead of you so don't give up if you are at that stage of closing shop number one so don't beat yourself up like i said everyone's gone through it you're not the first one and i'm not belittling what you're feeling the emotions that you're going through they're real they're genuine and you need to feel that emotion don't bother up your emotion be honest with where you are and don't feel like you are less of a person that you struggle financially. Even like I said, the most successful businesses that I know are closed down. They're closing up the shop because we are in difficult times and different difficult situations. We almost almost like a um, recession, even though they haven't said it in the news. We are in a recession, you know, with gas prices going up and oil prices going up. And as business owners, we i know for me let me talk about closer to home i've done rachel academy over for the last 18 years i've been self-employed for that a long period of time so to have that thought that i would have to go out and create get a nine to five job because even i thought about that maybe i should go back into teaching because it was getting to that point when things was getting really really tight so that's the reason why i kind of took that two-year um breaks the battle course so i can really think about it because I was kind of living on my savings and my husband's wage. So why I had that time to really think about what I wanted to do. And again, like I said to you, it was a really, really great time. So don't beat yourself up. 
I can't stress it enough. You're, you're not the only one that's going through it. You're not less of a person. You're not a bad business owner. You're not a bad entrepreneur. You are someone that has really really taken a big step and not a lot of people start their own businesses and so you are one of a small percentage of people so you should be proud of yourself that you came this far so again this title of this um, video is talking about pivoting your business dreams so the first one is again don't beat yourself up the second one is graduate yourself um, graduate yourself and celebrate that you've graduated your business thus far even though you might be thinking of closing down shop or you might be thinking of pivoting your brand or your business you need to go into a graduation ceremony and literally graduate the last year two years three years or five years that you've been in business and even give yourself a physical certificate for coming this far because again it's all about success mentalities just because we are pivoting and changing the direction of our brand and business doesn't mean that we are a failure it means that we are preparing for something new just like a caterpillar that goes into a butterfly it has to first go into the cocoon and that cocoon process is a very um dark process it's a very deep process it's a very lonely process you know when the caterpillar is at the stage of uh, metamorphosing itself into a butterfly it doesn't have any other caterpillars with it in that cocoon it's just that caterpillar by itself and that's how you're going to feel when you're going on this journey to pivot or change or close and rethink and reshape your your brand or your business it's going to be a lonely journey and you're going to find that you're going to be by yourself. It's not that other people don't care about you. It's, other, it's not that other people don't want you to succeed. It's just that in this cocoon stage, we need to be by ourselves because we need to be hearing our own higher self, our own inner voice to direct us and guide us. We don't want to go back into the marketplace. We don't want to start another business if it's not something that we want to do. We don't want to start a business because we've seen our colleagues, our um, family members or someone that we've seen on social media our peers someone that we admire starting the same business that you want to do you want to truly start this business from your heart from your higher self a lot of us start businesses because we're inspired we are motivated we've seen other people doing it and they're successful so we say well if they're successful i will be successful too and that's a wrong way to start a business but you'd be surprised how many people start a business based on those criterias of just someone else is doing it they look successful and i will do it too like i said i've worked with so many clients and when they come to me a lot of them want to start a business because someone else is doing it and again it's nothing wrong that someone else is starting a business that you are inspired about and you are motivated by what they do it but if you are not really passionate about it from the depths of your heart that business will not succeed especially in the difficult climates that we are in because we're going to have to pull a lot of more work into growing that business in the climate that we're in because the, the the world that we live in is completely different to the world in 2019 even 2016 a lot has changed and you know with the um the aid of ai as well into the mix of if you're working online if you're using um uh, social media if you're using the internet and all the things with the policies and privacies and things that we talk about a lot has changed so if you're not passionate about your business idea and the things that you're doing you're going to find that it's going to be a struggle any business that you start from the beginning takes work takes dedication takes time takes not giving up takes a thick skin for you to continue or build that business that's something that a lot of us don't talk about building a business is very hard it's not just as glamorous every day is not glamorous you get good days and then you have bad days but if you love it if it's something that is really resonates with your heart if it resonates with your personality if it resonates with something that you are really passionate about and you want to do what you're going to find is that when you are working hard when you are putting all the time and the effort and the energy into that business it doesn't feel like work you get into that state of flow and it becomes a an extension of your personality an extension of who you are because i believe that 
on this journey that I've been through for the last 20 years of running a business that Rachel Cadden was an extension of my personality. My website was an extension of my home. And because I loved what I was doing, it wasn't like I was working hard. It became a passion and a love affair. And it was became more enjoyable on the days that I had to stay late at work, I had to, you know, work with a client that was difficult or I had to, wasn't getting um, enough money that I wanted to. You know, you're going to business this is like a hill and a mountain. It's not solid. It's not up. It's not down. It's not straight, but it's going to be ups and downs. And if you love it and you're passionate about it, then you're going to be fine. So graduate yourself, give yourself a certificate, pat yourself on the back. We are the engine. We are that physical being that's going to be running the business. Even if you're building a brand behind every brand, any brand is an individual person. If we don't, we don't see that person. That brand started with you and I. OK, and even though it grows and metamorphoses to its own individual person because the brand is a physical, it becomes a physical person. But it also started with us as individuals. So anywhere, any time or anywhere we can bring our personality and make our personality show up in our business. I've, I have found that this helps your business have a longevity. It helps it more stable. It builds a stronger foundation to weather the storm that is that we can't control that's out of our control especially in the world that we live in politics and climate change and all those kind of things my lovely so thank you so much for taking that time to join me on this video we talked about pivoting your business dream do leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on what i've talked about today if you know anyone that's going through a journey of pivoting or closing down business share this video with them if you feel that it will benefit them in some shape or form and i will see you same time same place next week. Take care, lovelies. Bye-bye.